Hey everyone, so today I'm going to share yet another side hustle that you can do using AI. I'm going to share an exceptional AI tool with you that allows you to design and create websites without you having to be a web designer or web developer. You can let AI do the magic for you. But this tool is unique because AI is not replacing you, it is rather working with a human in order to provide amazing sitemaps, amazing wireframes, and amazing style guides. Yes, this AI tool works alongside with you to create a super impressive workflow that you can then share with potential customers and then let AI generate the site for you. This tool allows you to publish your site directly on Webflow, so you can go from ideation and concept straight to a live website just like that using the power of AI. So in this video, I am going to take you through this tool, how it works, how you can use it, and then I'll show you how to find clients for yourself so that you can start pitching the service and making money using this tool. So are you ready to take a look? Let's go. So yeah, guys, this really is such a fun and exciting AI side hustle, which is in building websites. And you can then approach people, approach prospective clients and offer to build them websites if they don't have any or if they've only got like a social media presence. And this doesn't have to be like a proper full on website with tons of pages. This can just be a simple website to showcase their brand. And now, as you can see, we are on reloom.io. And as I said, websites designed and built faster with AI. So I really like this. They say, use AI as your design ally, not a replacement. And you can instantly generate your sitemaps, wireframes, and style guides for marketing websites all in minutes. Now, this is really cool because you can actually just describe the company that you are going to work with to build their website. And then you can simply describe it in a sentence or two and then generate right there. So now as an example and right off the bat, let's look for a brand that looks really cool, but maybe doesn't have a website yet. Now I find one of the best places to find these smaller businesses that don't have websites is by going on to Google Maps and finding businesses on Google Maps and easily from that search, seeing whether they have existing websites or not. Now, some big ones are like restaurants or butcheries or hairdresser salons, that type of thing. So I'm going to look for hair salon in Boston. All right. So we are seeing over here, they have a bunch of hair salons and all of these, these ones so far have websites. I'm going to go and search for more, 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 and boom, right here in like five seconds, I found a hair salon that doesn't have a website. Look at that. So we've got TNT hair salon over here, but they don't have a website. All they have is a phone number. That's interesting. All right. They've also got a super high rating, 4.9 uh, out of five, which is a very, very high rating. Okay, we've got the call. What I'd actually like to do is see if they've got a social media profile because that is going to guide us in the creation of their website. So I am going to now copy that name. I'm going to then go TNT Hair Salon Boston, put that into Google. And they really don't have much presence, which is crazy for a salon with such a high uh, review rating. I mean, that's incredible. 4.9 out of 5 is massive with 459 reviews and they don't even have a website. Okay, so I am going to go back to my Reloom and I'm going to say um, a hair salon called... Oh, called TNT Hair Salon based in Boston, MA. And what else am I going to do? Oh, it's in Dorchester, MA, not in Boston. Okay, so it's in Dor Dorchester, so Dorchester, uh, Massachusetts, and 
Let's see if I can scrape any other information from these guys. So if I click on it over here, uh, I'm just seeing like they got different hair things over here. They're, they're obviously like really good hair salon. Okay, let's scrape this information over here in their services section. So um, let me just copy this over here. So we want to feed as much information to Freeloom. So services, colon, and we're going to go to generate. Okay, so let's see what happens over here. So as you can see, the AI is busy working on generating a full site map for us. You can see it's generated a home with a nav bar. It's then got the hero section, which says, Welcome to TNT Hair Salon, premium hair service in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Then it's got a feature section, introduction to highlighting our expertise, blah, blah, blah. Uh, another list section, list of services included, hair coloring, balage, haircut, highlighting. Uh, they've got a testimonial section, so customer reviews and testimonials featuring. This is amazing. And we can actually then pull in those reviews directly from Google. Um, and then, yeah. From home, it then goes to another section, which is services. And here in the services, you'll see it's generated subsections for hair coloring, for balage, for, uh, how do you pronounce that? Balayage, uh, sorry. Uh, haircut, hair highlighting, hair straightening, perms. They've got a contact section as well. Like, this is just incredible what they've done in generating our sitemap. We can then move on to the next section over here, which is in the wireframe, right? And as I can see, this is still generating. The AI is busy pre-populating this all. So you don't actually need to be a designer. You don't need any web development skills. The AI does this all for you. And you can then very simply, and you saw how long this took us. It took us like a few minutes. We can then present some of this as a sneak peek to that client. And remember, via Google over here, we can simply phone them and we can say like, hey, buddy, we want to come not for a haircut, although maybe I need one, but we can say, hey, buddy, I want to come and see you and I want to show you what I got or send me your email address so that I can get in touch with you and show you this amazing website that I could put together for you. I mean, if you offer this website to them for like, say, $500, right, which isn't a lot for them to have a fully fledged website. And, and that's the point, like, that's only one example, you can contact hundreds of businesses and, and put things together. So let's just zoom in over here and have a look at the wireframe. The wireframe is the proposed design over here. So here you can say, okay, TNT, we need your logo. We're going to get that in there. You can see, transform your look at TNT Hair Salon. Professional stylists crafting bold and beautiful hair in the heart of Dorchester. We deliver precision cuts and vibrant color. And over here, we can AI generate our image or we can pull in one of the images from what they've got over here as well. It then moves down. Uh, hair artistry with passion, blah, 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 hair transformations. And here we have the different services over here. So hair coloring, ba balayage techniques, haircut styles. You can throw in some of the reviews over here, which we can easily grab from the hundreds of Google reviews that they've already got on uh, their system there. So as you can see, this is a wireframe over here for their website. We then move on to the style guide and this is where you can pick between different styles for the website. So look at this. Look at this guys. Like this is incredible. Obviously the pictures we would change up but you could go for different side colors. So if you go for the Dodger blue you can get like a blue look and feel. You could go for the green and get a different look and feel there. You could change up the typography. You could uh, get different UI styling. So you can have like blue buttons or this type of button. You can go for that type of button. Like you can really just play around with the look and the feel of how the website is styled. And again, you do not need to be an absolute expert for this. You just need a bit of creativity and to have an interest in this. And this is a proper AI driven business that you can set up for yourself. 
So in the spirit of this video, I actually went and I got a haircut. So there we go. Now, when you are pitching this to potential clients, if they show any interest, then I highly suggest that you show them three different concepts. And this is the amazing thing about Reloom because they allow you to showcase three different concepts. In actual fact, it is recommended. So you'll see here, we recommend creating at least three distinct concepts before sharing. And what this does is it gives the prospective client a choice on you know different styles. So this over here on the right hand side that you're seeing is concept number one, right? But we can build the other two concepts by clicking over here and going on to new concept. And this over here is where we can play around with the colors, we can play around with the styling. So you can choose any sort of styling that you want. So this kind of button over here, so we'll select that. On the cards and image, we could have it as edgy and choose that one over there. And then we just shuffle the scheme. And as you can see, it's applying the button and you can really play around with the color schemes with the different fonts that you have over here. So you can have a font that looks more like this and then you would have concept number two then i would recommend you do a third one and so you click again on new concept and they'll randomize the concept for you but again you can play around and really design it to how you would prefer and then finally you click over here on the pitch concepts and voila you have three different design concepts that you can then share with the prospect. And so this really helps with the professionalism and presenting a very professional offering. And then also if you start to charge for the different design concepts, it just maximizes the earning potential that is available through Reloom. And finally over here, and this is a beta feature that they have, but they've got the actual design over here where you can then export either into Figma or they allow you to export into Webflow as well. So just to show you how it looks like when you export, you can export into Figma design or into Figma sites. Now do note that to export to Figma, you do need to follow a few steps and this will be related to signing up with Figma and then getting a copy of the Reloom Figma kit. You would then need to import into the Figma kit with a Reloom Figma plugin. And so exporting to Figma involves taking those steps. But for now, you're really able to build, your, build out the sitemap, the wireframe and the style guide for basically any business. It is insane. AI is allowing you to do so much these days, it is insane. Now, let's say you contact your first prospective client, in this example, a T&T &T hair salon based in Massachusetts, and you show them this impressive sitemap, the wireframe, wireframe style guide. You could say, hey, listen, let's embark on getting you a website up. It's gonna cost 500 bucks or a thousand bucks. And if they agree, what you can do is then work with them to get the exact pictures and the exact copy and the exact reviews that they want on the, their different pages. And once that is ready, you can simply export all of this into Webflow. Now, Webflow is, is a website builder where, in this case, you won't need to actually code anything or build any website. You'll just export from Reloom into Webflow. And the way you do that is you sign up on Webflow, you then download the Reloom app or plugin, whatever it's called. And using that app or plugin, you can then import all of the pages from Reloom and that'll then automatically populate in Webflow. And that is how you can then export directly from Reloom into Webflow, which then saves you having to build out the website. And this really makes it pretty simple. Now, I must just stress that unless you are a fully fledged web designer or web developer, I would highly recommend you stay away from bigger projects, websites which need advanced web design skills. 
I would highly recommend you focus on going for very small businesses that typically pay for around the $1,000 space. So those that that aren't looking for sort of fully fledged enterprise sites, but rather your small introductory websites. This is a way easier market to enter. And also it'll be easier for you to deliver on those sorts of projects. Whereas the larger projects needed by bigger businesses require a higher level of expertise. So I really would focus on going for small businesses as there are some limitations to sites that are fully designed and built by AI. So important to point that out. It doesn't mean that there isn't a ton of money to be made from this. If you really do put passion, consistency and effort into this venture, you can potentially make a full-time income just from doing this with Reloom. So yeah, I hope that you have found this information useful. If you have any questions, do let me know down below in the comments. And as usual, I do hope that you keep hustling. I hope you keep it real. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace out.